Hello guys, this is Donna Moy here and today we are not going to be doing any song covers. However, we are going to be reviewing a certain product that I just got just recently. And this product is uh, the Moana Caster Lite. This is a professional audio sound card. It's the AUAM200, also called as the Portable Podcast Console. So as you can see, this is um, the original package. I have not made an unboxing video because I already unboxed it because of my excitement when it arrived. So we're not going to be doing an unboxing today. However, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little review on said product. Now, just a disclaimer, I already used the product um, once for a video, uh, for a song cover video here on YouTube, which was blocked. So um, to replace that, I decided to do a review on the sound card that I am using for my videos. Let's get to it, shall we? So first we are going to do a little opening of the box. As you can see, this is the original packaging. You can see that it's already been used because the wires are all over the place. Um, however, in this box, you are going to get um, two wires, which you will use to connect your smartphone to the sound card itself. Let's put that there. And also, you have this one, this is basically um, type C to USB, and this is used um, for charging, for charging the uh, sound card. Oops, it's getting out of focus. There we go. Let's put that there. And last one, we have this, which is a type C. And I think this is used to connect the sound card to your PC. It's really getting out of focus, isn't it? Let's put that there. Now this is the Moana sound card itself. Majestic, I know. I'm gonna take that. So as you can see here, um, for me it's not that heavy. It is heavy though, because it's original. Um, however, it's not that heavy that you would actually feel the heaviness of it. Um, it's much more like on the neutral side. Here we have the adjustment for the mic volume. We have the adjustment for the accompaniment or the music volume. And here we, um, this is actually touchscreen. You can touch the electron. There's also a Bluetooth icon here if you, if you want to connect it to, uh, via Bluetooth if you, if you don't have the wires available. And then we have here some bunch of keys. And here on this side, we have um, the adjustment for the echo. So um, the echo for your microphone. We also have the adjustment for the monitor, which is basically like on the screen of your phone. Right? If you want to hear more um, of what is going on in the screen, if you want to hear yourself more, you just have to adjust um, this one right here on the monitor. We also have um, some certain effects, or like for live streaming and podcast, I would say. Um, we have here opening, like when you're opening your podcast and stuff like that. So this is just basically like music. Uh, we have applause, uh, gunshot, the popular laughter, the booing, awkward sound effects, slapping, cheering. I don't know what these does, this blank thing is here. I haven't tried them yet. And this here is very interesting. We have like the effect and I think it has like four effects. I think it has the uh, pro effect, the pop effect, and the MC effect, and the original. So it has four. And then we have the pitch, wherein you can change the pitch of your voice. Um, we have a child, we have a female, 
we have a male and we have a robot, so four. And then you can click this option here as well if you only want um, your viewers or your listeners to um, only hear the music. So it says music only. Also, if you're recording, if you're into making song covers like me, um, we have the denoise effect. So your microphone wouldn't get the noise that like the noise of your surroundings as you're um, recording. We have a loop back. I haven't tried that yet. And we have a side chain. Now the loop back and the side chain, um, I am not I am not so familiar with. However, I'm gonna be like I said, um, it just arrived and I haven't like really used it that much. I've only used it for like once for a song cover. So yeah, that's the entire phase of the Moana sound card. Also, um, I'm just going to show you like a little detail on what's on the back of the Moana sound card. So we have here the on and off button, power button. And then this is where you put in or you plug in the uh, USB-C, uh, the one that I showed you earlier for charging. This is for like your phone where you connect your phone. This is for a second phone and for a third phone, which is really great because you can put in or you can plug in three phones all at once. Like if you're in a streaming or a podcast, you can definitely do anything with a sound card. Um, we also have here the output music input. This is where you put in like your accompaniment. Like um, if you're streaming or live streaming, um, this is where you put in your accompaniment or the music. This is where you put your headset or your earphones. And this is where you put your mic. So basically, it can cater to microphones at the same time. Now, in regards to the performance of this sound card, I have tried three sound cards in my lifetime. I have tried the V8 sound card, which was the cheapest one that I got. It was only for um, 800 pesos for the entire set. Um, so it was not really durable, it broke, um, it gave a lot of feedback. Um, it was easy to use, however, the quality of the sound that it produces with your mic is not that much uh, re reliable. And I've also tried um, a certain sound card, they called a V9K sound card, I've also tried that. Um, it's good for its price, for only um, 1,000 pesos. Um, it really catered some of my song covers as well. It's kind of a bit difficult to use. Like the quality is not that is not the very best. So compared to the two sound cards that I've used and the Moana sound card, this is definitely the sound card to be chosen. <laughs> you should like go ahead and get this sound card. This is not sponsored, by the way. Um, I just like how it performs, how it makes. Um, my voice crisp if I want to like if you want to do ASMR you can definitely use the sound card this one right here this button right here um, makes your voice really crisp and very sensitive to sound so th this is definitely um, a very amazing sound card or product to be used if you want to do ASMR and if you want to do recording song recording like me I, I just song recording uh, I do song covers and it's it really gives my voice the clarity that I need especially for editing so it's really good and it can also use this for podcast as it, as you can remember I said there was an effect here for our MC effect you can definitely use that if you want to um, you know do podcast and use this sound card so definitely a big 10 out of 10. The only thing that I found difficult in like the use of this sound card is the initial setup because of course every one of us has different taste on what we want our setup to be, how we want to sound like. So it was really difficult for me to find the perfect um, sound that I was looking for. However, once you get to it, it is definitely the best of the best for those people that are wanting to have like quality product at a very cheap price. Now I got this sound card, this Moana sound card on Shopee. I will put the link of the store that I bought it from because the store that I bought it from, of course, since we're really legit, is a Shopee mall. And I'm gonna put the link on the description down below. Um, I bought this for exactly 3,000 
737. That's cash on delivery. It was delivered right into my doorstep. And it came like maybe a week after uh, the initial order. Uh, for everyone there that is scared to buy the Moana sound card, you know, you just want to be careful and you don't want to waste your money. This is definitely not a waste of money, you guys. And of course, especially when paired with a Moana uh, microphone set, it is definitely the best out there, the best sound quality, again, for a cheap price. So that is all for today. I hope you... Um, got something from this little review that i made and i hope to see you guys again bye